It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the New England Patriots and the Cincinnati Bengals, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. The Ohio River and the city's abundance of hills. We're at Trap Horse Stadium here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Welcome everybody to the booth. I'm Kate Scott, joined by Brock Hewitt for this game. And Brock, as a former quarterback, I know your focus is on the offensive side of the ball ahead of this kickoff. Yeah, these two offenses are so fun to watch because the best offenses in this league, Kate, they're about trust. And it just pops out. When you study them during the week on the game film, you just see it. They trust one another. That's head coach, that's coordinator, that's play caller, that's to the quarterback, and then certainly the 11 on the field. Both these groups are getting it done. stoppage as team personnel comes out to look at him. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and ten. Throwing to start this game. You know, the goal on a lot of these short throws is to simply let the receiver create some yards after the catch, that yak. Well, I think he was thinking about the yak before he actually secured the catch. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. situation many players win and a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done they'll head up first and 10 from the 42 designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. Offense to the line for second down. Here's Burrow. On target to his man Higgins. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. coming up now. Execute. 
That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open, it beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throwing now from the gun. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally, you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball. Two men nearby, and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. Here they come. This is third and five. Burrow back to throw. So picture-perfect way to begin this ball game, Bronk. Their opening drive ends in six. Yeah, no question about it. That's how you do it. You work all week to script out the opening drive, and it's huge when it pays off like that. Evan McPherson on to try the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Turn starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So out come the Patriots, ready for their first possession. Leading them out, the third overall pick in this year's draft. After a decorated career at UNC, it's Drake May. Drake entered the league as a top five pick because he checks a lot of boxes. Just the way you want to talk. Athletic. Great arm. One year in North Carolina put on an absolute show, and yeah, second year as a starter took a little bit of a beating and some question whether or not he was still a top five pick. The ability, there's no question there. It is now the consistency in taking care of the football that will be a big part of Drake's career. Delmar here on first down. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as it can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Second and three now. A give left side to Stevenson. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Three yards there and enough to move the chains. That is an old-school battle you simply love to see. An offense that close to a first down, a defense that knows there's a run headed its way. It's a battle of wills. It's the offense that gets it done this time. Play action on first down. with you, 
communicate, as you grow and develop as a quarterback, your arm gets stronger. These comebacks can be one of your favorite throws in your arsenal. Because if you trust yourself and you throw it before that defender breaks, you know there's yards to be had on the perimeter. Fourth down and on comes the punt team and the kicks away. The Bengals all set to go for their second drive. They've gotten off to the exact start they wanted, Bronk, and now an early chance to pull away and get some distance on their opponents. They're out and set, first and ten. Burrow setting the throw. Looking right, and he brings it in. And he's brought down after a short game. Second down now, seven to go. to put the offense in the doghouse like all of them right now this can't happen in the nfl kate and a lot of guys out there they got to be looking to one another hold each other accountable to hold on to the ball Good starting field position awaits the Bengals as they get set for first and ten. Throwing from the gun here. Short pass cut by his tight end. And he's taken down directly on that 43 yard line. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And it'll be first down, Bengals. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. They go play action on first. The shot down field will have off incomplete. Corner finds Jamar Chase on that throw. So that brings up second down. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Fake, he's gonna throw. And the Patriots get home, they dropped him. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. When nothing opens up, that becomes a pretty clear throwaway spot. I mean, that is textbook throwaway spot right there, Kate. Get outside the box, chuck it into the third row, and avoid exactly what happens right there. Because now third down is so much harder. figure out this third down here. Burrow to the air now. He's going to loft one deep to the left. And he goes over to the ground, Cincinnati. Bengals blow their lead on the turnover. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Brock. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to 
stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. McPherson at the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Taken in at the eight. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The New England offense running out now. They watch their fumble turning the point, so feeling maybe a little bit of an urge to make up for that now in this series. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Just about every defensive coordinator worth his salt says two things in every production meeting. Number one, well, we got to stop the run. And number two, we got to take away the tight end. Well, good luck doing that. Defending a big guy who can move like that, it's a lot easier to talk about than to go out and execute.
While a new offense preps to head out, we've got a stoppage. They want to make sure this is a turnover. Yeah, pretty bang-bang play out there. It's tough to see exactly what happened on our first look in real time. But you know what I like here, and I do appreciate, and these officials are so good at let the play just play itself out yeah. before calling it dead. Now all the replays and the camera angles will give us such a better idea of really what happened. So a nice defensive play, all for not. He was down first, no fumble. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 19. That one's incomplete over the middle. You know, in the NFL, offensive minded teams would call it the perfect fight. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, they count on those being efficient and effective. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Throwing his man. You're looking so good just a couple of plays ago, and suddenly, not anymore. A red zone look comes up empty with that interception. I think the pressure got to him there, Kate. And I don't even mean all those pass rushers, although they were certainly coming too. I mean the pressure of being third down in the red zone. That's where you got to slow yourself down as a quarterback and know you've got to simply protect the football. ready to begin this drive first and ten throwing now on play action versus zone defense. So zone defenders are dropping to their spots. And with all of that horizontal action, they often get lost in zone coverage just like that. From the 39 now, after that explosive start to this drive. Throwing is Burrow. On target to his man, Higgins. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Second and three now. From the 46. There's no question the greatest concern there was just getting the first down. You want a high percentage throw, and you're not really concerned about big yards. Well, the drag route was perfect. He comes open in the short field. It's easy to zip that throw right in there and reset those chains. So early movement from the backfield, Brock. They jumped the gun a bit, and that brings out the flag. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump, and, well, they got one of them to move that time. They're set back five by that false start. Now 15 yards to the marker. Still sticking with the passing game. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And now they face second and long. You know, that's one of those situations you want to get you back in space. Well, you accomplish that. Unfortunately, you don't make anything happen because you don't bring the ball in cleanly. We're back to Paycor Stadium right after this. Time for our second quarter. It'll be Bengals football to begin. They're moving it well, but now face a third and short. Complete beyond the bucket. This is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. That's a pick up Cincinnati first down. Go, 
back to throw. It's caught. The flag's down as he Looks like this one's on the offense. Would like to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no. And it's got to come back. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Back now. Pressure on its way. Fires over the middle. Caught. He runs this to the 25 before being brought down. See what they draw up on this third and seven. Now Burrow. He's on the move. Oh, he's gonna run for it. Twelve yards on that play. A good call, and that's on the first. As much as you like to find a completion and get the ball out of your hands, when a play breaks down, you gotta be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on his ability to evade pressure occasionally make plays just like that. They have themselves another first and ten. It looks like the defense jumps just before the snap there. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Encroachment on that previous play, and that makes this a much shorter first and five. Here's Burrow. And that's complete to Moss. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Ooh, he knew he was going to pay for throwing that. I knew it from up here in the booth watching that happen. But that's an experienced quarterback. If that first primary target isn't there, make sure to find your safety valve. And that got them some yards. So taking that shot, well, it was not for nothing. Second and management, he's throwing. This throw is caught. This will be the end zone. Oh, it's the Bengals. And he's going to score a touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals picked up the fumble and ran it home. That right there was impressive, Brock. Even with the fumble, absolutely no panic on his part. Finding that football, keeping the play going, and taking it in for six. I am just hearing... My old offensive coordinator, Tom Moore, <laughs> yeah. say whoever plays the hardest the longest wins. <laughs> and that's what you got to do. You got to play harder. You got to play longer than your opponent. And when you get an opportunity, go seize it. McPherson and the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Patriots offense all set to go. And things are really getting away from him. So an important moment here to try and get a sustained possession going. Get this drive started. First and ten. Look at the throw here. Shake off that previous INT. Got a man over the middle. Complete. After a good hit. 
pickup. They're set up for second and short. First down from the 31. First throw for the backup now. Got a man over the middle. Complete. yards and moves the chains. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a bat who can show off his wheels. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Again, it's Gibson. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Job one of so many D tackles in this league is eat up space. Don't get moved off your spot. But the difference makers, they just not only eat the space, they eat those runners too. Running it again with Gibson. They say about great outfielders in baseball, there's just something to them. They've got a knack to feel an instinct to take the right line, the right angle. For safeties to create tackles for loss in the run game, it's the exact same attribute and skill set. They take that right angle, and they will finish that one. Here he is on third and long. On the move, hit it right. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. Patriots fighting back and shaving six off that lead. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down. And when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard.
All set for the kickoff. Slot with the honors. Return coming from the six. And that was a rough one, Brock. It came down well short of that 20 yard line minimum he needed. So this drive going to begin from the 40 yard line instead. Would like to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no. It's got to come back. receiver. I bet you'll find, Kate, in the annals of football history, the best corner wrap runners as receivers, but also the best slant runners, the best post runners, because it's all about change of direction, and that was put on display right there. They'll try and punch it in. They make a stop at the last minute. It's a game down to the one. First shot gets him five. Still a couple of looks remaining. It's second and goal. You know, that's a good run right there. Keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. Throwing his burrow. Flush down now to his left. machine has been firing on all cylinders this game partner and it continues fire as that lead grows yet again and those who've tried to get in the way of that machine you're talking about namely the defense well they paid the price over and over and over again mcpherson at the point after that one splits the uprights and they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Turn coming from the six. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. The Patriots running their offense out there. They're down 21 now after that last score and in need of a comeback as we work through this game. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm the quarter. 
Mark Slayer, two-time Super Bowl winner, says if you want to run the ball, you got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining 40 yards. It's a run you can set up even more in the run game. Which is a two-minute warning from the jungle. It's the Patriots with second and six. From the 34. but some stone hands got in the way there. That one intended for DeMario Douglas. And that means third down coming up. That is normally a gimme for this offense, is short throws. But the defense, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. Throwing on third and long. He's got it room to run. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball. Okay, hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on the screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. Offense up to the line fast. Shotgun snap. There you go. that can stop them so we gotta assume this drive Brock likely gonna end in the touchdown as well four downs now to get in here's first and goal Continue adding to their lead. McPherson on to handle the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Now outruns their offense to take over. They're trailing, but there's enough time, Brock, that they could get a scoring drive to attack that here before the break. Still, 
One of the deeper targets you see him get. It's a shame they couldn't find a connection. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Here's May. He gets this one to Smith Schuster. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36 yard line. Now we're going to have a timeout by New England. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. First down, ball at the 36. Throwing his May. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. I hate those situations, Cade, as a QB. I'm looking for an open passing lane, and I can't find one anywhere. He thought he had one available. He did a better job of not getting away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. May now. Goes out close to that 45 yard line. Extra DB out there for the Bengals. Third down coming. Now they'll throw out of the gun. That one is caught left side of the field. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. Well, that's sure one way to take the lid off the defense. Great work to find the biggest hole in the coverage, and more importantly, go exploit it. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Throwing it again here. They dump it off to the back. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. for Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now, to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. Here's Sly to try the point after. One splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Set for the kickoff, Sly with the honors. And it flies over the end zone and out of play. In the past, it's a touchback to the 25. But new rules starting this season, Brock, so it's now going to be at the 30.
First and ten, but only time left for maybe a couple of plays here. They'll turn to the ground game and just run this clock out. And he heads out of bounds. Great pickup on that run. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. That's pretty good right there now. You don't always expect a sizable game when you run it on first down. You just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. Now there's the flag. Looks like the jump came from the left side of the line. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. Motion in one of the tight ends. Looking to throw. This finds all complete. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. We get a timeout now from the Bengals. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Here comes the final play of our first half. The give here on second. And he doesn't get much there on what turns out to be the final play of the half. We've hit halftime here in Cincinnati. The Bengals carrying a lead into the locker room. Now we'll send you south to Orlando for a check-in around the league via Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bengals got a strong performance in that first half by Joey B. Their quarterback, Joe Burrow. He was downright amazing with three touchdown passes and another one scored on the ground for good measure. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. McPherson on to hit on the kickoff. That's going to be taken in at the 8. Finds some space. He's past the 30. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. The Patriots and quarterback Drake May ready to go once more on offense. And there's a couple of moments we're seeing here that I think he's not going to want to be reminded of after this game. Turnovers have just interrupted his performance in this one. Made it really tough for him and this team to get into and stay in any kind of rhythm. We don't always know what's said there at halftime, Kate, in the locker room. Some of the adjustments offensively and defensively, but I can assure you, the special teams coach pulled his kick return team aside and said, listen, we have a chance here down double digits to spark this game. Let's go out and get a great return to set the offense up for success. And that's exactly what they did. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby. But you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you can win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that thing. It may not be a home run. It may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Third down, one yard to go. I'm trying to pick this up on the ground. Stevenson wants the first and more. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. You love a huddle? Okay, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there, and he's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line.
to throw. Here's May. That man over the middle. Complete. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. Second and six coming up here. May looking to throw. That's complete to Juju. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. All right, set now. First and ten. Short yardage situation here, it's third and two. Here's Stevenson. And he barrels it across for the touchdown. He broke the tackle he needed to, Brock, and help out that effort then to keep it going and eventually reach that end zone. Yeah, that's awesome on the offensive side. Defensively, not every missed tackle is the same. It may be on a stat sheet, but sometimes that help to finish a play isn't arriving quick enough, and you're the only one, the last line of defense. And in that moment, you got to scratch, you got to claw, you got to tear to make the stop. Because a broken tackle will mean a touchdown. Here's Slide. I try the point after. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Set for the kickoff, Sly with the honors. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Bengals and Joe Burrow all set to take over. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. start out with a first and ten. Now Burrow finds his man Chase. And he'll go down and we'll see at the 39-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And it'll be first down Bengals. Stopped at a 
his own side at the 49. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it sets up a Cincinnati first down. Moss gets it from the gun. Plays on the table here for third and three. Burrow back to throw. And he works this to the 38 before going there. They get six and a first down as well. New set of downs for him at the 38. Play action on first down. Cox on the left side. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. You know what I love about this? Never showing panic. When he leaves the pocket, look at his eyes. They continue to search downfield. They're never looking at the rush. They're finding the open man downfield before running out of real estate. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 32. Cheap for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. The drive picks up here, first and ten. They're going play action. On target to his man, Higgins. And they bring him down at the 18 yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They'll throw it again. We'll dump this one off to his running back for points. They get this down the seven yard line. It's a real solid pick up 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. You know, these running backs today, they are so versatile. It doesn't matter if they're running it, or in this case, same principle applies on routes out of the backfield. You don't get somebody close to him, that throw is headed his way. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They are throwing it again. Today. Just roll them. I mean, this, this is clinic. This is what I call teaching tape. Being well prepared, and more importantly, going out there and executing at a high level. McPherson at the point after. Splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. McPherson on to handle the kickoff. His return starts at the five. 
And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. This offense ready to get going again now. And as we're being reminded of watching this package, there have been quite a few mad scrambles for the football in this one. It has been put on the deck a lot, and unfortunately, they haven't always been there to make the recovery. Yeah, I think this is uh, twofold, Kate. I think number one, this is a defense who has studied its opponent and their tendencies well, yeah. knowing there were opportunities to rip the ball out of their hands. And then offensively, this has been a mess. And this is one of those games where it's just air after air after air, and you know they typically come back to bite you. Drive starts out with the first and ten. Back now, pressure on its way. Brought in by Juju. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. Connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Throwing from the gun here. Complete beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Baiting the quarterback into the throw, well, you got to sail that one into the stands. Touchdown or check down. You can't possibly give an interception in that situation.
offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Up the gut, they go with Moss. And he'll find the space he needs to get this up to the 25-yard line. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. Hey, Kate, you want to know how crazy your partner is next to you? <laughs> I would love to take a fan right out of these stands and put them there on that play. Just so they could feel what a five-yard run feels like. Because it may not look like anything on the stat sheet, but I promise you if the average person felt the pain of what a five-yard game was, they'd have a whole new perspective. Today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. So now here's third and five. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. He puts a juice on a deep throw. side gosh defensively you got to get that that skill player down period yeah. end of story you can't give up that much yards after catch McPherson at the point after that one right down the middle and they'll continue adding to their lead McPherson on to handle the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. Another drive coming up for this offense. And all game, they have struggled to attack this deficit. Maybe they can do a little window dressing here. Second and three now. Throwing it again here. Tight end reels in the 
shallow throw. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. Maine looking to throw. He's got the hook up to Moore. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Gibson here from the gun. And he's able to get this down to the 13. It's a gain of four there. And that's a New England first down. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, kid, if you wanted to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. May. The throw is caught. Patriots take a small chunk off that lead. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. Here's Sly to try the point after. splits the uprights and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard All set for the kickoff, Sly with the honors. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. This is the type of performance a former quarterback just like yourself, Brock, can marvel at. He's carried a great performance through much of this game. Even as the defense adjusted, tried to slow him down, none of it mattered. I like the way you say that right there, Kate, because these moments, the game does slow down. It is so fast on the field for the normal person, but when a QB's in a rhythm like this, the game is slow, and he is dicing them. Ball at the 33 for first down. Now a give up the middle of the mall. Give him a full 40 on the play. And it'll be first down, Bengals. Anytime you go over half the field in one play, totally changes the complexion of the drive. They're now set up beautifully in enemy territory to end the series with some type of points. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and 10. Right back to Moss now. And he'll only get this to the 26 before going down. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. First and goal. 
working inside the red zone. And it's caught. His second scoring catch of the game. A second touchdown through the air for him, Brock. And independent of the game situation, we both know he's going to be happy to leave the field with two of them in one game. One touchdown, you just might be right time, right place. But two touchdowns in a game is always about the preparation. The separations of the preparation. It's doing that work on the practice field and knowing before the game that when my number's called, I'm going to be there to deliver. McPherson at the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Their offense running back out now. And they're coming off an excellent series throw on the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. Set of downs for him from the 46. Here's made of the air. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Solid game. 
This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. Chance to have the chains here on third and four. And the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. Call it no gain that time, so now they face a fourth and four. That's pretty much textbook defense right there and how to stop a drop play. Guys near the line, keeping their eyes in the backfield, and then you collapse all running lanes as soon as you got the ball. We've reached the two-minute warning in Foxborough. Patriots trying to do some window dressing. Set first and ten. On the handoff, Moss. And he sneaks this through the middle, maybe a gain of two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. in split-second reactions. A nice bit of burst surge forward for enough to go get that first by a couple before they could finally drag him down. You'd hope, Brock, after that delay of game. They'll run here following the penalty. And he's brought down for a loss. These stops, they don't always make the end of game highlight reels, but they absolutely should. The coaches and players know it. Offenses are always counting on yards on that type of run. And any time it results in a loss, it could be a potential drive killer. seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other that was the difference in the win 